Number one, what is your name? My name is Sita Luna. Come on, get hoopy. <laughs> Number two, what is your name? My name is Sita Luna. Come on, get hoopy. Yeah. Number three, what is your name? My name is Sita Luna. Come on, get hoopy. <laughs> Only one is the real Sita Luna and has sworn to tell the truth. Yeah. Now let's meet our panelists. Nishan Taylor, Mother Love, from Whose Line Is It Anyway, Brad Sherwood, and actress Brooke Burns. Here is the star of To Tell the Truth, John O'Hurley. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to To Tell the Truth, so you want to get hoopy, huh? <laughs> All right, bring it on. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, come on. Uh -oh. Come on. You don't know what a joy it is at my age to find out your hips still move in a circular motion. It's time to play to tell the truth. I have not burned that many calories in a year. All right, welcome to the show, and of course, a big hello to our affiliate in San Antonio. <laughs> Land of the Riverwalk. That's a great... Everybody in San Antonio? Oh, absolutely. The greatest Riverwalk in the world. Anyway, welcome Beautiful. to the game. You know the way the game is played. Three players here, all claiming to be the real. Sita, Luna, two are lying, and only one has signed a statement swearing to tell the truth. Your job will be to find out who that is. So please open up your affidavits that you have in front of you that you're now seeing for the first time. Follow along with me as I read the sworn testimony of the real Sita Luna. I, Sita Luna, bring love and fitness to the world with a hoop. As one of the founders of the hoop revolution, I make specially designed hoops so folks can easily exercise their hips and heads. I also get paid to hoop it up at nightclubs, parties, and even corporate events. With workshops once a month, hoopsters from second graders to seniors get a three-pronged belly benefit while spinning themselves into bliss. Hoop on! Signed, Sita Luna. All right, panel of audience, our three ladies here all claim to be the real hoop honey. Which one is it? Meshach Taylor, go back into your memory, sir. Do you remember the hoop? Thank you, John. I really do remember it, and I can remember... Uh, the first time it was around, all people, older people were getting injured from trying to do it. <laughs> because this is in the 60s, and at that point, white people had not learned to move their hips properly. <laughs> but that's all over with now. Anyway, number one, how did you get started doing this? I've just always been hula hooping my whole life. It's always been fun for me. Okay, then uh, number two, where are you from? I'm from Austin, Texas. How about you, <laughs> number three? Colorado? Colorado. Okay. Uh, number one, have you won some sort of competition uh, that put you in the position? When I was really little, I won a um, hula hoop contest at a grocery store. <laughs> That's it, though. Okay. <laughs> and how about you, number two? You, have you won any sort of national competition with the hula hoop? No, not a national competition. Number three, who makes... Mm. All right. Love the love. I, but number one, when did you start hula hooping? I mean, for, for fitness. Oh, um, about a year ago. Uh, number two, can the hoop rev revolution help other parts of your body besides just your belly button and things? Yeah. What else can it help? Uh, it works out um, muscles all over your body. Okay. Now, number three, you say from little kids in second grade to senior citizens, who's the hardest group to teach how to hoop? Um, I would say probably mid-40s because they just, they're so nervous about it. I Look, we all oh, we can't hold up real well. That's not right. <laughs> I think she was targeting me. All right, Brad, on to you. Number one, what company makes the most hula hoops? Uh, Whammo is the company that's first started out making. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two, what body part needs to be really loose for uh, proper hula hooping? Um, your hips, I would say. Your hips. And uh, number three, what's your phone number? <laughs> What happened? No? Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, making mental notes. I'm sorry. Uh, that, that's not a... Mr. Rules, that would be a demonstration. That's not a question. That's not a question. 
Uh, number three, what clubs do you do this hula hooping at? The Palace, Vinyl, the Giant. All right, on the book floor. I'm not going to repeat the last question. I think it's irrelevant in Mike's situation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, number one, it says that you have specially designed hoops. So this is not the same thing as like I would buy at a toy store or something. Right, they're, um, the plastic is denser, so it's easier to use. And we design them with different different colors if you want. Great, very cool. Number two, um, I've always had a problem with that head hooping. The hip hooping was okay. Is there like a trick or some kind of special thing you could teach me to? Um, to hoop around your head, you just, you don't really use your hips. You kind of have to move your whole body. Well, I wasn't trying to use my hips to hoop around my head. Yeah. But, you know, you got that Adam's apple thing. It's like, is this you safe? Have an Adam's you know? apple? <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. We will we look to the secret of her Adam's apple. The Bella Sound of Time is up, and it's time for our celebrity panel to lock in their votes. Without discussion, is it number one, number two, or number three? And at this point, I'll ask our studio audience to cast their votes as well. And while everybody's voting, I want to remind you at home we're going to pay our team of challengers a thousand dollars for every incorrect vote. So stick around. We'll be right back to find out how everybody voted and who the real hoop honey is right here on To Tell the Truth. Would you like to be on To Tell the Truth? Go to totellthetruth.tv and find out how. All right, welcome back to To Tell the Truth. One of our challengers here is the real Sita Luna, the co-creator of the new hip hoop. Meshack Taylor, who did you vote? <laughs> Thank you, John. Well, you know, this, they're all three lovely. They look like they're in great shape and everything. And I, I, I'm just going to have to guess. And, and I'm guessing it's number three. All right. <laughs> Mother love. Well, number three, when she came out, she swung that hula hoop like a hoopster. So like I a voted hoopster, for all right. Just on that alone. Not sure what... This was very tough. Uh, I, I, it could be any one of them, which is hence the theory of the show, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, but there was something about there was something about the way number one seemed excited when she was talking about it. She seems like someone that's so into hula hoops that there's no other way. So hoop, there it is, number one. Uh, hoop, there it is. All right, Look burn. About knowing why my sisters could always do that, but I couldn't. I guess my parents never really explained that properly to me. I went for number one, though. All right. <laughs> uh, celebrity votes are in, and the mystery of the Adam's apple will remain. No. <laughs> Time now to see how our audience voted. All right. Yeah. Down on the end, number three gets the vote. Uh -oh. It's time now to find out which one of our players is the real Who Bunny. Will a real Sita Luna please stand up? Ah! <laughs> no! No! All right. All right. Oh, very good. Ooh. We've been Ooh. <laughs> Let's meet our team of imposters. Wow. You did a great job. Sita, I'm going to invite you to come down and prepare for a demonstration. But number one, let's meet you first. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Shana Kossip, and I just graduated from North Carolina State University, where I majored in business. Oh, no. all right. Oh, well. Number three did a great job as well. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Michelle Massey, and I'm a beauty consultant for Victoria's Secret. No. Oh, wow. Wow. None of us can fit in that little That's Adam's apple. Sita, come on to the center of the stage and show us what you can do. Go, diva. Go, diva. With the hoop now. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Now she is the hoop man. Go, Until we saw you dance, $5,000 will be split among our three challengers. Right. Thank you very much for playing to tell the truth. <laughs> and panel, it's time to meet our next three challengers. Number one, what is your name? My name is Ken Fishberg, and I have the scoop on TP. 
Number two, what is your name? My name is Ken Fishberg, and I've got the scoop on TP. <laughs> Number three, what is your name? My name is Ken Fishberg, and I've got the scoop on TP. <laughs> Only one is the real Ken Fishberg, and has sworn to tell the truth. All right, we'll be right back to find out which one is the real Ken Fishberg and why our studio audience is so anxious to catch rolls of toilet paper <laughs> as we come back to To Tell the Truth. Those captioning is sponsored in part by... Welcome back to To Tell the Truth. Panel and audience, you know the way the game is played. Our three gentlemen here all claim to be the real... Ken Fishberg, two are lying, and only one is signed a statement swearing to tell the truth. So please open up the affidavits that you have there in front of you, which you're seeing for the first time, and follow along with me as I read the sworn testimony of the real Ken Fishberg. I, Ken Fishberg, compiled the web's first encyclopedia of toilet paper. My TP tone is a squeezably soft history of toilet tissue, from what was used in the days before TP to the historical day when T.P. finally got on a roll. So if you're caught with your pants down when the talk turns to T.P. and you want the whole poop, pay a visit to my website. I'm sure it will leave you flushed with fascinating facts. Signed, Ken Fishberg. <laughs> All right. All right, things you never learned in school. Panel and audience, our three gentlemen here all claim to be the real bathroom tissue buff. <laughs> Which one is it? Lee Shack Taylor, we begin the question with you. Well, thank you, John. I, I, this is a tough one. I just don't <laughs> quite know what to ask. But, uh, number one, do other countries place as much attention on their rear ends as we do? <laughs> Absolutely. We do. Okay. okay. Well, number two, when did two-ply tissue come, in, come to pass? <laughs> in 1920. In 1920. Number three, what is the newest innovation as far as toilet tissue is concerned? Kimberly Clark has a, uh, has a uh, moist uh, paper. A it's moist a, paper? A, it's pre-moistened. Uh, num number one, uh, uh, do you agree with that? Yes, That's I the newest do. innovation? Yes. All right. Mm. All right. What a lot. Okay, number one. Uh, when did TP go on a roll? In the 1890s. So, number two, what were they doing before we were all born and it wasn't on a roll? You what use whatever was at hand. <laughs> okay. I'm just asking the question. <laughs> uh, number three, why is toilet paper made so thin and it's different from paper towel? You don't need something that's as thick as paper towel. Mm, Sometimes you do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Number one, do you ever get behind in your work? I love it! <laughs> oh. oh, stop it! Okay. Uh, number two. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Number two, who played Mr. Whipple in the commercials? I don't know. Oh, number three, do you have any ideas? It's a character actor by the name of Dick Wilson. Dick Wilson, okay. Uh, what other item, number one, of produce was used long ago as a substitute for toilet paper? Shut Corn up. cobs. <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, I'm very curious. Uh, and uh, number two, do you go, when you put your toilet paper roll, do you go over the top or under the bottom? Over the top. Okay. All right. Rook turn. Number three. <laughs> when did you start your website? We started the website about two years ago, but it, it gradually grew into this encyclopedia that we have here. Mm -hmm. It's toilet, toiletpaperworld.com. Okay, <clears throat> number two. Of, on average, how many brands of toilet paper are there out there? Uh, there are about 120 different brands out there. Really? <laughs> number one, I'm going back to the little uh, moist toilet paper thing. Is that on a roll or is this just like baby wipes? It's coming out on a roll. All right, fellas, sound and time is up. And it's time for our studio audience and our celebrity panel to lock in their votes without discussion. Is it number one, number two, or number three? 
And I invite you to stick around at home. We'll be right back to find out how everybody voted and who the real bathroom tissue buff is right here on To Tell the Truth. Welcome back to To Tell the Truth. Here's a story for you. One of our challengers is the real Ken Fishberg, who compiled the first and probably the last encyclopedia on toilet paper, which you can find on the web. We'll start with Meshack Taylor. Sir, for whom did you vote? Well, I, I tell you, the, the, this is a, a very interesting topic. And <laughs> number three, I ask about the newest innovation, and it's this moistened toilet tissue, which I, I, I thought would be very interesting. I hope there's a a toilet tissue warmer that goes with that. <laughs> well, that could be uh, comfortable. But uh, also, he knew who Mr. Whipple was, uh, 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 Dick Wilson uh, of, of, uh, of the Charmin fame. And I actually studied martial arts with his son. He's, he's my Sifu, my uh, kickboxing teacher. So I'm voting for him, number three. All right. Mother Love, any relationships you'd like to disclose? Or? You know, I got to tell you, they were all very good. And the toilet paper, you know, I'm logging onto your website just so you know, because I'm kind of interested in that. But number three, <laughs> knew, oh, shut up, you are too. <laughs> number three, knew who Kimberly Clark was. And they make a lot of toilet paper and paper products. All right. <laughs> well, I was very impressed with the knowledge of Mr. Whipple. That was my razor-like question. I guess it was. And so I have to tear off a few sheets for number three. Yeah. <laughs> Always appreciate such a suit art book, sir. Brooke Burns, on to you. you. You can kind of tell he's drawn that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should all be worried. Well, <laughs> not only for that, but for this, we should all be worried, because we're probably oh. going down. We have been led down it's this road many a time, but it is time now to find uh, out which one of our players is the real uh, uh, bathroom tissue buff. Will a real Ken Fishberg please stand up? <laughs> I, I, I'm blown away by this one. My. I really thought it. Number three, I swear I thought it was you. All right, let's meet our team of imposters right now. Number two, you did a nice job. Who are you and what do you do? I'm Kai Kofer, and I play Bullwinkle over at Universal Studios. Oh. Yeah. Number three, to say that you did a good job is an understatement. Who are you, sir, and what do you do? Thank you. My name is Ron Diamond. I really don't know much about toilet paper, but I do know a little something about the process of elimination because I'm the guy who edits to tell the truth. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. oh that's that. She said that. Oh! Now, I, oh, wait a minute. Here, wait a minute. I didn't realize we had an editor. What do you okay. <laughs> What, t what does an editor do that we would need one? Well, we keep the pacing going, and I get to do all sorts of fun stuff like this. And I can do some like this. And even this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all in a day's work. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And all this time, I thought I was irreplaceable, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why don't we start swearing and give him something to do? Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, what do you say? Ken, Ken, uh, Ken uh, so you decided it'd be a great little thing to put a website together with the history of the product. Yeah, I opened toiletpaperworld.com, and it's a distribution of many products. Many products. And if you want to learn a little more about the website, the history, the encyclopedia, if you will, of TP. Please go to totellthetruth.tv. You fooled everybody $5,000. We'll be split among the three of you. Thank you so much for being with us. And a big thank you, of course, to our celebrity panel at the end of our show. Be check to the mother love, Fred Sherwood, and the lovely Brooke Burns, John O'Hurley. See you next time right here on To Tell the Truth.